Uh, hey everybody, my name is Guy Jurovich. I am the drummer behind all of these ridiculous symbols that you see here, as well as Spinball, the symbol spinner. Um, so obviously we created Spinball because there's some great sonic effects, it's a great performance technique, but then in that realization we also found out that there are some cool options for some kinetic symbol art. Um, so as of right now, most companies are basically just releasing a patinaed symbol or a shiny symbol, or maybe there's a little bit of a mix and match and you've got perhaps some circles that are laved out. Um, outside of that, there's not really that much on the market, so we decided that we would sort of make this collection of symbols as a proof of concept to show people what is a possibility. Now, although um, these took me 18 months to create and, uh, you know, it was a lot of work, um, I'm really proud to say that in a few weeks we're going to be able to uh, launch a product that will make this patina job easy to do at home. Um, so the process is pretty long and laborious um, when done in factory contexts, but actually you can do this at home as well. And so really quickly, as long as you support our efforts, um, we'll be able to go ahead and launch this. And I'll be giving instructional videos showing everybody how to do this themselves. Um, the nice news here is that none of these are expensive symbols. What you're looking at are B8s, B10s, some B20s, but some brass as well, but these are all from pawn shops. So I went around with my friends and we bought really four or five pawn shops out of business, out of symbols, um, and that was just to kind of get, get something to try with. Um, and basically these are all different materials and I've gone ahead and shown some examples of what we imagine could be some nice ideas. Now, I'm also not a talented artist, I'm new to this, but I would like to present this. So this is a, theoretically, from what I understand, to be the first non-symmetrical circle on a symbol ever. Um, they're all sym sym symmetrical otherwise. I'll lean it towards you so you can see a bit more. But the idea here is that um, once it's spinning, there's some more options for you. So obviously you've got a nice sort of a wobbly circle effect. That's a nice one. Uh, and then if you were to expand on that concept here, the bigger symbol, over here. So you get sort of some nice options. Um, obviously, maybe some have seen some of the spirals that I created before, but this one is my favorite. It's in, right now it's an Audi, but if you spin it the other way, it's an Innie. So you have some fun options here, and this could be just really great for, you know, home DIYers. Um, when we do release that patina gel, we're going to get as many artists as we can involved to kind of get this as to be as exciting as it possibly could be. Uh, a little bit more advanced on some of this information is that this is a B8 material. B8 is known to be affordable uh, and durable, right? So rock and roll players and metal players will play them mostly. Um, and the B8 bronze, as you can see, the ones that are B8 come out more of a brown. And um, I actually personally think it's the most beautiful of them. Um, you know, you get some nice effects out of them as well. Um, and this here is another version of a B8. And these are just ones that I did you know, out of what I thought would be nice. It's kind of a version of a spiral. Obviously, I really look forward to uh, what the general population of artists is gonna be able to create with these. Um, and then, so that's B8 material. And B8 comes out this nice dark brown. I, I like this the most in terms of appearance. And luckily, it's really cheap. And we also have a lot of these lying around. A lot of drummers have a couple of old B8s, so um, it's a good thing to try and practice on because it's not very valuable. However, when you start getting to more expensive materials, such as B20 bronze, obviously it's a little bit uh, more refined, um, it turns into a black instead of a brown, which is really beautiful with the patina. And this one's sort of a, kind of a throwing star kind of an idea. And, you know, I envision that people would want these on their symbols, um, you know, for a whole variance of reasons, whether you want to put your band's logo on there or maybe some kind of an ideology or religion that they're associated with or just, some kind of a symbol. I have a tattoo of a trident on my arm, so maybe I would put a trident on one of mine. Who knows? Um, and then, you know, I also found out that B10, which is kind of in the middle of quality, comes out to be either way. So you can get it really dark like this one, or you can get it um, kind of a little bit of a middle ground there. And the idea is that really soon I'll be able to show these to you, but what this is for is to sort of kind of show everyone that there are some options out there and symbols are pretty boring. So we're trying to, you know, challenge the industry and home DIYers to make it themselves. Um, this is my favorite. If you've ever seen that Wes Anderson movie, Life Aquatic, this is the tiger shark. Um, I'm a huge fan of this one. And this is brass. And so brass, what's really special about that 
is it's a quick, quick, quick patina. This took maybe only a couple of hours to get like them like this. Really easy to stencil out and make these kinds of images on it. So, um, you know, I just wanted to demonstrate that we've got some of these options. Um, and furthermore, I would like to say that we are really proud to announce that we're going to be giving away a couple of these throughout the course of our soft launch that's happening. So this is a little spoke for you. Check that one out. Pretty simple, pretty easy. These kinds of things are pretty noticeable, even on a pretty big stage. So we'll be giving this particular one away. You could be the proud owner of this brass star symbol sort of a soleil, a sun, if you will, or you can be the proud owner of this one. And this is the real humdinger. This is everyone's favorite so far. So um, we would love if you were to go on to our website, www.spinbolt.com, www.spinbolt.com, and uh, you can find out how you could win one of these symbols. Uh, and furthermore, I will also be selling a couple of these, so do stay tuned to the Spinbolt uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I'll announce, so I'll be giving away some of these and selling them. And, trying most, mostly to just inspire other artists because we do everything with drum heads. As you can see right there, drummers go nuts on making their artwork on their drums. Um, you can even turn around and see what's up there. But you know, artwork and music go hand in hand. And here we are at Sleepless Sound Studio. A um, good friend of mine is uh, one of the owners and one of the uh, participants and uh, the drummer in our main video, uh, Lucas Kaczynski. And really proud that we're here supporting uh, a local industry. Um, but furthermore, what we're really mostly excited about is uh, giving people some options and you know, really recognizing that we have a lot of space for customization. And so the beautiful part about all of this, my friends, is that they still sound good with this patina method. So really soon, we'll have more information. And uh, thanks so much for listening. Hope you guys rock on.